Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are once again going to be discussing the interview that Tommy Andreessen went on recently on the YouTube channel known as TTV. Now, in case you guys don't know who Tommy Andreessen is, he is one of the co-creators of all of Ninjago, and like I said, he recently had a huge interview on YouTube where he revealed a lot of interesting things about Ninjago. Many of those interesting things I do want to make videos on, and a lot of those interesting things were indeed about Ninjago crystallized, and some of the leftover loose ends that remain after that season has concluded, one of which being the Crystal Council itself and their fate. I've already made a video about this a while ago, but the question still remained. What exactly happened to the Crystal Council and where are they currently? In the past, we've speculated that maybe they could have went underground and hid away from the ninja, or maybe they were picked up by the police and put into a Cryptarium prison, but according to Tommy Andreessen, their fate should have been pretty easy to figure out. In fact, he says that there's a reason why they never showed their fate in Ninjago Crystallized itself. It should be pretty easy for Ninjago fans to piece together on their own. I'm not really sure if their intentions were actually realized here. I'm sure a lot of Ninjago fans assumed what happened to them, but then again, a lot of Ninjago fans also might have been confused, including myself. I wanted to speculate. I saw the lack of an answer as an opportunity for speculation, but according to Tommy Andreessen, what happened to them should have been fairly obvious, and what happened to them is the following. After their defeat at the hands of the Dragon Ninja, the Crystal Council, aside from, you know, Harumi and the Overlord, were picked up by local police and transported to Cryptarium Prison. According to Tommy Andreessen, the Crystal Council is currently imprisoned, aside from, again, Harumi and the Overlord for obvious reasons. Then again, you could make the argument for Harumi being imprisoned as well, but from what we know right now, characters like Pythor, Esphira, Vangelis, and the Mechanic are indeed imprisoned. In the case of Mr. F, Tommy Andreessen also mentioned that his fate was pretty much left ambiguous, and Ninjago fans can come up with their own fate from Mr. F. I like to think he was crushed by the billboard, but maybe he survived and maybe he was also placed in Cryptarium as well. Well, again, that part is pretty much up to interpretation, but the Crystal Council, it's safe to say that they are currently in Cryptarium Prison. Maybe we will see them again in the future, maybe not, but I just figured I could make this quick video letting you guys know what has happened to the Crystal Council, because again, that was a question that we were speculating on a while ago. It's nice to have some type of solid answer, and even though we never saw that play out on screen for various reasons, it's good to know where these characters ended up. So with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Long story short, the Crystal Council members are currently in Cryptarium Prison, which we probably should have expected. Leave all your thoughts down below in the comments, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and like I said, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thanks a lot for watching. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again really soon. Peace.